again! Zelda fans, Nintendo has released one of the most beautiful themes I have ever heard for Tears of the Kingdom. We first heard it in the gameplay demonstration from the producer. So in this video, I'm going to break down the main theme for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Kevin, and welcome to Zelda Music Theory. Okay, cool. The first three notes we hear are... What chord is that? Come on, guys. The Zelda chord. Guys, I call it the Zelda chord because I grew up with Zelda, and this is kind of how I learned about it. It's the flat six, meaning if F is one, and you go down, down a whole step is flat seven, down two whole steps is the flat six. You build a chord from those notes, and if it's a major seven chord, it's the Zelda chord. So I think it's erhu or arhu, two-stringed Chinese string instrument. It's kind of like a cello, beautiful vibrato, flute on top, the strings come in later, piano, it's amazing. By the way, if you're trying to learn piano, one of the best tips I can give you is just learn how to play the root in the left hand followed by a fifth above it and then an octave above it. All right, kind of that space theme. That is so common in piano, just to be able to play that and then play something like this on top. And then back here, check it out. You can do the same thing. Okay, so that melody up here, that is very Dorian, check it out. So Dorian is like a minor scale with a raised sixth. Well, this is our minor third, right? And then we get a nine or a two, the sixth, the raised sixth, back to one. Kind of this fourths. That sounds a lot like some of the stuff from Breath of the Wild. Let's see what else we got. Something like that. Okay, beautiful. Also kind of Dorian. So again, following those fourths, right? Very interesting sound over the top. And what's cool about it is all of these notes belong to Dorian mode. So beautiful, kind of the same stuff. This time the strings come over the top with some harmony and they also play kind of similar notes, right? They've got that um, that D major in here that makes it F Dorian. Oh, uh, one thing to note. They go one, four. Back down to the flat six. And the piano above it is very beautiful. It's just kind of some nice notes, a couple of nines, a couple of fourths. I'm not gonna break down every note because it would take way too long and it probably wouldn't be that interesting, but. Now I'll play it once, just me, and then I'm gonna try and play along with it. The problem is I can't actually hear it. <laughs> By the time I'm playing, this is playing so softly for recording purposes. I might be rushing or something like that, but we keep it pretty chill here.
Let's go one more time with the music. And the other read that I played on last time is squeaking. <laughs> this read is super old. I need a new read. Moving on. By the way, the chords playing there are kind of like... Something like that. Guys, I'm playing that by ear. I'm just figuring it out. It's a little bit more advanced in music theory. That's why you gotta practice your scales and chords. And then we modulate. Ah, uh, interesting. So we should have ended up back on F minor. And instead we moved up to... <laughs> that just naturally came out, guys. That's exactly what happens in that piece. What is that? Uh, Rivali's theme? It's a whole nother video, guys. Sorry, I got carried away. But let's keep going. So nice. We actually, uh, you know, we end up here. But it's not too late to go back to here. But instead they go... So what is that? It's a flat six, Zelda chord, flat six, major seven, flat seven to one in a new key. And now suddenly we're in B flat minor. Don't ask me what chord that is because I'm thinking F sharp. <laughs> it's not always important what you call it, guys. As long as you know where it belongs and the numbers, you can just kind of see it visually. I didn't even realize that. And I just did a video on Zelda music references that had that theme in it. How cool is that? Wow. I should have put that in the other video. Okay, where do you think we're headed? It's making it a dominant seven, it's always going up a fourth, right? To here. But instead, we get... Another Zelda chord, the flat six. Check it out. Put a six on there if you want, because they're still holding out the... Still being held, right? Right, how often have we heard that? It's everywhere in Zelda. So, easy way to change key, right? Um, Now here we actually don't get this. It does go to E minor. And that's because they kind of do this uh, walk down sort of thing where they're like. A major, we're in E minor. Okay, so we start off in F minor and now we're down a half step. We're so close to home, but kind of worlds apart. Let's keep listening.
You can hear that. Check it out. C major seven, up a fourth. Back down to E minor. By the way, that flat two down to one occurs all over Zelda. Ocarina of Time is full of it. Even the original Zelda theme. Let's see how it ends. So they kind of add in this tritone sound. It's a little bit bluesy, kind of mysterious, brings in this otherworldly vibe, right? Maybe aliens type of thing, right? We get the Zonai coming in. So totally makes sense why they're kind of doing that. And then they end with this kind of creepy, well, let's see if they even end with that. No, that's, so that's where this video ends. But of course, we get the bum, 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 bum. And then it's like, come save me. <laughs> in the original key, right? Uh, beautiful. Overall, really, really cool. There's a lot of flat six, flat seven, one, four major, and then some flat twos. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really trying hard to balance not getting too deep into the weeds in music theory with giving you guys just enough to where if you really want to learn, you can look up some of the stuff on your own. Shout out to my patrons. How awesome is that? Be sure to check out some of my other videos. And as always, Zelda Music Theory, out.